Grass is an essential crop if we are to rear livestock productively. Unfortunately, half the grass grown in Wales is not utilised efficiently. It is the cheapest feed on farm and if managed well, can reduce inputs, reduce production costs and increase farm profitability. We have chosen farmers from different sectors across Wales that will measure and monitor the growth rate of grass on their farms weekly as part of the new Farming Connect pasture project for 2017. Each farm will measure grass growth in kilograms dry matter per hectare and an average farm cover will be calculated on a specialist grass management software. This will create a virtual grass wedge to aid with any decisions made on farm. These decisions will also be made available on our website. One project farm is Kevin Amuth, who have been measuring grass for a number of years. Um, we've got 950 spring calving cows, and then um, New Zealand Friesian type cows around the 500 kilo mark. Measuring is the most important day of the week. After we've measured everyone, goes in the house, we have a cup of tea, um, and put it in the in Agrinet on the computer. And then we'll have a look at the wedge for the coming week and, and make decisions regarding you know, areas we can give the cows or if there's a field not performing, you can identify it and do something about it, reseed it or, you know, in the summer days, you know, with, with rain as well, we can grow up to 100 kilos a day uh, on the best days. And that's quite hard to manage then. Um, you know, we've got a surplus then and decisions to make. And effectively, you know, utilising the grass is, is the way forward for us. You know, the infrastructure of the farm, so tracks, water troughs, it's, I know it's an expense, but it's, you know, it's, if you want to do it properly, you might as well, you know, invest in those things and, and you'll grow a lot more grass anyway, um, no, no matter what system. Um, it's, it's, measuring's a peace of mind, because this is the cheapest feed we can grow and the best feed we've got. So um, making sure we utilise it properly is, is a no-brainer, I think. One farmer who is hoping to implement techniques and practices for his beef and sheep enterprise is Gethy Owen from Nantarevile Better St Ross. Um, Nantarevile here is a uh, 300 acre uh, part rented, part owned um, beef and sheep farm. Mostly down to grass, we do grow uh, roughly 10 hectares of cereals every year. Well in the past we haven't really measured any grass um, as such. We, and the grazing system we've, we've run in the past, I'd say you could call it a, a rotational set stocking. Things t have tended to be done on, on gut feeling really. I think that unless you measure whatever you, you produce, you know, elements of your production system, you can't uh, establish a, a baseline to improve from. It'll give us you know, figures in black and white on how productive uh, those, those fields are. Also, we rent some land, you know, are they productive enough to justify the, the, the rent that we're paying? Yeah, land's expensive in this part of the world like, to, to buy and rent, so you know, we need to be making sure that every inch of land that we use is, you know, is performing optimally and efficiently. This project will allow you to have access to the latest information by clicking on our interactive Welsh Pasture Project map. We encourage you to look frequently and to consider if some of the project information and grazing strategies on show could help improve your grass utilisation. There will be a series of events on the project across Wales. For more information, go to our website.